boundaries. They're a big buzzword in the freelance world, but are they really necessary? I've thought about this over and over again over the past couple of years, and I've been on both sides of the coin, but recently I came to the conclusion that as a freelancer, you don't need boundaries. Don't get me wrong, they are helpful, and they sure do help when you stumble upon those demanding pesky clients. For example, let me share a little personal story of mine. I had a client, and we had agreed that I was going to work for them from, I believe, 4 to 7 my time. At the time, my husband was working very late hours, and I was quite bored. So oftentimes I would just do work at other hours <laughs> that weren't in our contract. I would still track time for that, don't worry, I'm not that crazy. But yeah, I would oftentimes be working at 10, 11 p.m. and they just started expecting that. So even though we had set the time schedule or whatever beforehand, they started expecting me to reply or do work instantly at 10, 11 p.m. And as you can imagine, it's not every day that I want to do work at that time. Sometimes I just wanted to relax. Sometimes I just wanted to, I don't know, maybe go out. I don't go out much, but maybe. Or I just wanted to sit here and play video games. I don't remember I streamed a lot at that time. But yeah, the client started expecting that and I totally understood that this was partially my fault because even though we had set those boundaries up front, I trained them otherwise. And it's kind of like that actions speak louder than words kind of thing. All that to say, if we fast forward to today, I am so thankful that all my clients right now, they're amazing to work with, they respect my time, my personal time, my work time, everything like that. And so those strict boundaries that I want set to kind of shield myself and protect myself from those types of clients are almost like being more of a burden right now than something to help me because Oftentimes I find myself feeling guilty, like for example this morning, I spent the entire morning, full disclosure, playing house flipper because <laughs> I've been addicted to that lately. And at those times it's easy for me to feel guilty that I'm not being productive during my supposed work hours. But why should that be? As long as I can get everything done before the deadlines, which thankfully I'm great at doing, on the other hand, there's sometimes that I want to work on weekends if I'm working on a fun project, especially that now with doing a lot of UGC, I oftentimes just want to record for a brand. <laughs> and I would feel guilty that I wasn't enjoying my free time and that I was doing work and being a workaholic, which don't get me wrong, I am, but you know, that guilt isn't necessary. All that being said, it's not that you just shouldn't have any boundaries because I do totally believe that they can be a great protection, especially if you're just starting out. Oftentimes, unfortunately, there's a lot of clients that think they can take advantage of freelancers because they're new and maybe they don't know what's normal. <laughs> so it's good for you both to protect yourself from clients with setting boundaries, but also protect you from yourself because if you're anything like me, I'm a workaholic, like I just said. So it'd be hard <laughs> to just stop working because you can always be doing more and making more money and stuff like that. You should set those boundaries, reinforce them, but every once in a while, sit down and reevaluate whether those boundaries still make sense for you, if you need to rework them or completely demolish them. And the same goes for like scheduling, you know, the way you plan things, is it digital or on paper? All that, it's good from time to time to, you know, reevaluate stuff because things change and we have to adapt. And also, if you're anything like me, I, I like to change things up to keep them interesting. Sometimes I'll work on weekends or while I'm traveling. I actually really enjoy working while traveling. Oftentimes, if I'm doing a solo trip, it feels so good to sit like in a hostel lo lobby 
and just get work done like people watch but get work done i can't explain it but i really really like it it's kind of like a foreign and co-working space kind of thing so yeah i wouldn't deny yourself that freedom because that's for me the essence of freelancing having the liberty to work when and where you feel more excited and inspired and motivated after all i mean it's your business it's your time and you make the rules so don't just go with what you hear online because there will be people saying you need to have boundaries there will be people that say fuck boundaries like the, they don't matter but you have to take all that advice maybe test out different things and see what works for you and and remember at the end of the day you're not alone in this it may feel like that if you're you know the people around you are not freelancing and you don't have that community build up yet so if you'd like to connect with like-minded freelancers myself included and maybe engage in co-working sessions or maybe just ask questions at any time you are more than welcome to join my discord server i'll have the link right here on the screen but also down below it's totally free and i would love to have you there so yeah don't be a stranger come and join us and i'll see you inside bye bye <laughs> okay this was the second time recording this shit i hope it's good